Okay. Our sample is ready for consolidation test. I'm going to click on the program. This is the program. Uh, the first thing again, very important. We go to file, load. We're gonna load the template. We're gonna update all the information for the project. This information is not needed to run the test, but it's part of the report. We go to specimen. We enter the initial diameter, the initial height, the initial sample weight. Maybe it's 125, that's what we have. And this is the height and diameter, those are not gonna change. The water content, we can enter whatever information we have now. This is the read table, how the data is gonna be recorded. Uh, typically, we use time. We're gonna be read, uh, we can go to options unit, change time in seconds. And we can see, this is how we're gonna report the data. Then on the consolidation table, we set our loading sequence. So I'm gonna change the time back to minutes. So we have our load and load. We're doing 12 increments. We're going all the way to 32 TSF. This is in English units. This is constant load. My maximum duration is 24 hours. My minimum duration is one hour. And I have five minutes for secondary. So the test is all set. This, this loading sequence you can change it even during the test. You can put whatever you need, depends on the soil. Your maximum duration is always 24 hours. It's a good practice. Minimum duration you can change it depends on what type of soil you are testing. Now, you go back to view, system. You wanna make sure that you are communicating with the low track two, with the system. The power should be on. The values of the sensors should be about 32,000, maximum is 65,000 or zero. We have load, we have displacement. The load here is showing almost zero. If we press on the load cell, as hard as we can, we should see about 100 Newton. And again, the displacement that is underneath the platen, if we move it down, we should see the displacement. We can put a gauge, a filler gauge and we can see that the movement correspond to the thickness of the filler gauge. Now we go back and we close that and we go to run, start. We're gonna always give it a different name. And uh, you do save. Uh, position platen, you say yes. And then you wait. Now the platen is gonna move up until it touches until the contact is made between the steel ball and the load cell. So you wait, and if you wanna go faster, again, you move it down. And you wait until the gap is closed and you cannot move the steel ball. And if you take the piece of paper, you can check. If the gap is closed, the gap is still there. is going up. Once it stopped, that means the gap is closed. Check again. For the purpose of this video, I'm going, I'm going as fast as I can. And before we start the test, during the first minute of the test, you need to add water to the cell. So now we are waiting to make contact, then after it makes contact, we will add water to the consolidation cell. It stopped, it made contact, there's a small signal load there, and uh, we are going to go back to the program. We say OK, and view test monitor, View test graph. And during the first minute, we're going to add water.
until it's all fully submerged. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to look at the test. If the sample start to swell, we need to go automatically to the next step. What we can do, we'll run and do next step. You should not, according to the standard, you should not let the sample swell. This sample is not swelling. We're okay here. But if it does, you go to run and do next step. So you don't let your sample swell. And now, all you have to do is let it run. It will run from step number one all the way to step number 12 automatically without your interruption. And typically, a test is done in 24 hours. Okay. Now the test is finished. The consolidation test is finished. You get a message on the screen say, test finished. You press OK. Now what you do, you go to control, load. You put zero. You do go. Now the platen is going to move down to zero load. So there won't be any load here. And you should be able to remove. If it does not go to zero, you can go to position lower. So you can go faster. You do escape. Now the sample, you can take it out, dump the water, and take your water measurements. And you are done with the test.